Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, son of all ages, welcome back to another video on the channel, a DMZ video. Fair enough, Plunder is returning, possibly in Season 3, or maybe after, they haven't been clear on the wording just yet. So we will finally get back to our Plunder videos. Now, if you're like me in Season 1, and you were random sometimes, and they'd have all their missions to do, you'd end up doing their missions with them, you'd have to do your own missions, and it would just get a little bit tedious after a while. So I thought, while we're going through the missions for Season 2, I'm going to try and... Put as many together as possible that can be done at the same time and then run through those missions with you guys in a video. So the first up today, we're going to be doing White Lotus and we're doing Break Check, Park Finder and Hostage Rescue. We're going to be doing them all in the same mission. And we have to go to the observatory to locate a crash site, but we also have to go up there to get GPS trackers to bring across the map. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a helicopter if you can. We got quite lucky and spawned beside one, so myself and Headshot were able to clear out the enemy AI. Grab the helicopter, and then we're going up to the observatory to check out where the car crash is. And here it is on the right-hand side of the observatory, and it'll pop up on the map exactly where, but you're getting a general idea from the helicopter. Helicopter will make this exponentially quicker, and it will also make it a lot safer. Uh, doing this in conjunction with the dead drop mission, you'll have to refill the chopper once, so either bring a gas can with you before you get into the helicopter, or just land it on one of the safe uh, petrol stations as you're going. Uh, so we've collected the hard drive from the car crash, headshot got that, it's right beside the car, you can't miss it. We're going to go down to the dead drop now, and pick up the GPS trackers, and it's actually in a safe or spot of the observatory. Uh, in the last season I tended to avoid this area because all the heavily oh, the armed AI were down here, but maybe something. we just got lucky because of how early in the game uh, it was the reinforcements here. had not spawned yet. But it is on the building where the helicopter has been landed. There it is, just as a right, so different the, viewpoint. And uh, you collect the GPS go. trackers here. And then we go on a jolly spree all across the map. Now, you might remember from Season 1, when you did this mission, uh, some of the spots, even if you drive into them, they may not count. Just wait for the pop-up like in the middle of the screen, and of course the mission will also track. So, once you've gone to all 17 of the locations in the game, as you can see it's going through wow, now, you, we're going to go out and do a hostage dressing contract. Now, before you jump into the chap and you're flying yeah, around the map, just like see that, where there's a like handy to grab a hostage contract, and then mark that as like the last destination you're going to go to, so you can circle the whole way around the map, and then come back and pick up your hostage rescue contract. Outside. So myself and Hesha got the hostage rescue contract, travelled down to get him, and you know the drill. Heavily armed blueberries, get ready to drop shot, get ready to avoid them in the try and melee you, and get ready to lock, lock onto them and take them out. We can disarm the bomb, get the hostage out of there, and then with some almost safe driving from headshot, head down to the exfil point with the hostage and of course you're going to be getting on the chopper and leaving with him. It might seem basic but if there's a way of just saving time doing these missions fast and just getting out of the game and you get to bring maybe a couple of weapons with you and you also get to bump up your exfil streak you know it's worth doing so having completed all of those steps we can see here on the screen that our missions are done but we have one left to do on break check we have to bring the hard drives to the waterways on the new map and you can see we got very lucky with the spawn in this game you swim through the tunnels there's going to be a lot of ai inside so you're going to want to move slowly take out all the ai and then up towards the weapons case Underground, Ahead of you, you'll see there's like a ping, there. and headshot will the drop the hard drive Perfect. into yeah, the dead drop. Down. Not too much uh, trouble at all. Yep. And that is the mission done. Ladies this and gentlemen, catch card, you on the next one. This looks weird as fuck. Yeah, this is the whole new map. Alright. <clears throat> mission done. Uh, I can just clip three minutes of that, and I have to save 30. Awesome.